Radiation therapy is the use of high-energy ionizing radiation to treat various diseases, in which most of them are cancers. Radiation therapist is primarily responsible for designing treatment plans and delivering treatment. It is a rewarding profession in which we can contact patients every day and provide them with the best possible treatment and care. Let's see what it's like to study radiation therapy in PolyU. First of all, a small class setting is adopted through the RT curriculum, facilitating peer learning and discussion. In the RT curriculum, subjects on radiotherapy studies and radiotherapy equipment and dosimetry will span across several semesters starting from year two, semester two. Accompanied by other essential RT subjects, such as clinical skills in radiography practice, imaging in radiotherapy, radiotherapy patients management, and special cancer therapy. Most importantly, there will be more than 1,300 hours of clinical placement. Students will attend the placement mainly during summertime and the second semester in the final year. Let's take a closer look at each course. First, the content in LTS 1 to 4 encompasses a wide range of cancers that will be seen at the RT department. Basic concepts in oncology will be introduced. The diseases are neatly classified by systems, ranging from the central nervous system to the digestive systems and many more. In each system, we can learn about the epidemiology, etiology, signs and symptoms, clinical investigations, treatment protocols, and of course, radiotherapy techniques, as well as the associated treatment side effects and patient prognosis. It is great to have an overall understanding towards the disease and an in-depth look into the radiotherapy treatment approaches. While we learn about the basic clinical oncology in RTS modules, we also focus on the technical aspect. For example, properties of radiation beam, dosimetric calculation, physics quality assurance, treatment planning and treatment techniques. It is interesting to learn through tutorials and labs in which we have various chances to practice, consolidate and integrate our concept together with what we have learned in RTS. After all, radiotherapy is a rapidly emerging field. In special cancer therapy, advanced topics such as high-energy particle therapy, immunotherapy, and interventional oncology are elaborated and discussed. I find it inspiring to learn how new techniques in cancer treatment are evolving. In modern radiotherapy, one of the focuses is high-precision treatment delivery. In the subject Imaging in Radiotherapy, various imaging modalities dedicated for treatment position verification are discussed with great details. The content is supplemented with much academic publications and clinical evidence. It gives me a better understanding as to what, how, and when each imaging modality is utilized throughout a radiation therapy treatment process. After all, we should always bear in mind that patient's well-being is our highest priority. In the subject radiotherapy patient management, an introduction to psychology, emotion, and treatment side effects management are included. A new project collaborated with the Children's Cancer Foundation called One Person, One Story, OPOS, is initiated in 2021. Every two to three students will pair up with a children cancer survivor. Through student-initiated activities and interactions, we can learn a lot about the characteristics and hardship faced by cancer survivors. The very first OPOS project in 2021 ended with a great success. Future students should really grasp this prestigious learning opportunity. That concludes the major academic components of the study in radiotherapy. In addition to that, another major curriculum component is clinical placement. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect. Students are given abundant chances to apply and integrate all that they have learned during lesson time into real-life clinical practice in six local public hospitals and one private hospital. 
working with the staff radiotherapists as a team, I find the learning process very productive and meaningful. With that, we hope that you have learned more about our curriculum. Let's take a look at how we practice our skills at PolyU. It is important to narrow the gap between theory and practice. Therefore, we have been offered many opportunities to equip ourselves with practical skills for working as a radiotherapist in the future. As you can see, Jerry is practicing CPR that can help patients in life-threatening cardiovascular emergencies. Yes, I'm practicing for the subject clinical skills in radiography practice. We learn to provide professional and holistic care to patients attending procedures in the oncology departments. Also, we are required to attend a basic life support course held by the American Heart Association. We will learn some basic cardiovascular life support skills in pre-hospital settings. If we perform outstandingly during class, professors may offer us a chance to attend an advanced cardiovascular life support course to learn the advanced management of cardiopulmonary arrest or other cardiovascular emergencies. The equipment in this room is for us to practice our clinical skills. This is a CPR meter, the equipment to check whether students are performing high quality CPR. And this is a crash card for transportation and dispensing of emergency medication and equipment at the site of medical emergencies. We can familiarize ourselves with the equipment so we can offer a helping hand in the hospital in the future. And this is the mannequin for us to practice patient care and cardiovascular life support skills. To equip students with the skills necessary for radiotherapy, we have a lot of opportunities to have some hands-on experience in radiotherapy workflow such as molding. Let's see how we perform. Now, we need to press on the concave part of the face and the shoulder to ensure the cast conform to the body contour. Do you know what we have to do next? The next step is treatment planning. We use the planning software to construct a treatment plan that uses ionizing radiation to deliver sufficient dose to the target while minimizing dose to healthy organs. Good conformity of the, of the plan. The homogeneity looks great too. Let's look at the DVH dose volume histogram. Let's see the dose statistics. The DVH is good too. Okay, let's move on to the treatment delivery. This is the virtual environment of a radiotherapy treatment room, but it creates a three-dimensional setting for demonstrating the techniques we need for clinical practice. After we input the plan to VERT, we use the pendant to move the gantry to the treatment angle, where the ionizing radiation passes through the body and reaches the target. These 3D glasses can make the scene stereoscopic, creating an immersive environment for students to practice. With VERT, we have a safe environment to practice our clinical skills, increasing our competence and confidence before treating patients in the hospital. France is a student initiated service team. We have been in collaboration with the Children's Cancer Foundation and Disney volunteers to hold pre-radiation therapy workshops and various programs, aiming to serve pediatric patients and their families. We wish to utilize resources available in our school to empower pediatric patients for their future development. This volunteer team gives us an extra chance to serve children cancer patients during our study. This helps us better understand the needs and equips us with the skills in providing holistic patient care, which cannot be acquired from textbooks. After all, heart and devotion are all that matters. 
PolyU students can contribute to the IoT industry advancement through academic input as well. By actively participating in research projects led by highly experienced researchers, students gain insights into the research process, allowing them to further explore their suitability and interest in conducting research projects in the future. We hope you have learned more about the profession in radiation therapy. If you are interested, head now and visit our department's website. Bye-bye.